This is the three bits of wood that I'm going to use to make the cutting board. Two of them are leftover scrap and one of one this bit here on the left is uh, some stuff I bought a while back. Hopefully there should be enough. I might have to cut up a little bit more jarrah. But I want to use the two different types of wood, the carry and the jarra for a contrasting colour. Well, I finished uh, squaring up an edge on each of these bits of wood now. So now I can um, set up the fence and uh, check square on this blade here and uh, cut these into the strips that I want. So I'm going to cut them a little bit thicker than size and then that way I can um, plane, plane them perfectly square. Well, my bits now are all cut square to 41 millimeters. I had to uh, cut a couple more because I just wasn't, I couldn't quite make use of all this. There's a few uh, splits and stuff. Also, this one has nails in it. You can see little nails. So. I can't run that through the planer, it'll wreck the blade. So after planing it down and cutting them all to left, to length, this is what we're left with. Lots of little short pieces. So now I have to glue them all together and then let them dry and then cut them up again. Okay. One gap wouldn't close up, but I should be able to fill it later. So I've got the two bits here, all planed, level. So next step 
is to trim the edges square and cut these into strips. So I'll do that on the table saw. And once I have the strips, I can cut the, uh, the slot for the splines and then glue these together again. It's just a re repeat of the last process. So this is it all laid out um, once you can sort of see here like the alternating pattern so it's gonna have a kind of staggered sort of pattern all the way along the edge and once all this is all sanded back it should look pretty cool I took the cutting board down to Doug's work, my brother, and um, we got him all cut level on his machine. So now both sides are level, all we have to do is sand it. And once it's all sanded, um, trim the edges and um, cut the handholds. There'll be a couple of handholds and then uh, oil it up and that'll be it. Here it is, all uh, cut to size. I put little handles in it. This is the bottom, and I've uh, just filled up all the little cracks where the glue um, didn't quite make it. So the finished product turned out pretty good and pretty happy with it. There's a few things that if I did it again I could probably do better. There's a few glue lines that are pretty big. Also it's when I glued them together it was kind of 
not not straight so you can see like these lines aren't perfectly straight but yeah turned out pretty nice the uh, the carry and the jarra ended up um, coming up pretty nice after the oil and the wax so I put um, I put kitchen oil on it so it's all safe for handling food and some beeswax and hopefully it will stay together